With 420 right around the corner, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity for us to break out the Nike Dunk Skunk SBs. These are some of the best weed-inspired Nikes of all time. They released on 420 2010 and retailed for just $108, and they sold out everywhere. They actually were available in a broad range of sizes, going all the way down to size 4 and all the way up to size 15. The resale on these shoes is ridiculous. Sometimes it gets up near $1,000 for good sizes. Ever since this pair of shoes came out, Nike's really been downplaying the 420 releases. The following year in 2011, Nike released the Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke Dunk High SBs, but they were postponed by two weeks and ended up releasing around Cinco de Mayo. In 2012, we had the 420 Janoskis that released with very little hype. In 2013, there were no 420 shoes. In 2014, there was a four pack of Hacky Sack inspired SBs. There were two Dunks along with two other SBs, a Costin and a Janoski. And now here we are at 2015 and there's been no word of any 420 releases at all. Actually, all the way back in 2004, Nike SB had their very first 420 inspired release with the three pack of Hemp Dunk SB Lows. There's the Bonsai Green, the Cascade Blue, and the Red Mahogany. I wish that they would celebrate the holiday. They've come out with some really creative stuff, but these skunks are among the best of all of them. And let's check them out. We'll break out the brick and have a look at the shoe up close and personal it's actually supposed to resemble marijuana you can see the various shades of green the purple swoosh the fibers on here that are supposed to look like hairs on pot they really did a great job on this pair of shoes right here it was designed by todd bratrude who's designed about a dozen different nike sbs these are the best of his at least in my opinion I just think it's such a great looking shoe. They really nailed the inspiration here. The extra laces on this pair is purple and it actually has these Kevlar tips, which is something that Nike SB was doing around this time. This was also during the considered design era, the Better World program, where Nike is not wasting the plastic bags for the extra laces. Another cool detail on these shoes is actually the insoles. I can show you this skateboarding deck, which looks just like the insoles. It's a stoned skunk, and actually this deck was autographed by Todd Bratrude. I got it at the skate shop where I picked up my first pair of these. I got one of these pairs for retail at $108, and I picked up the second pair at Flight Club just after they released, and you can see right here I paid $200 for them. So both of these shoes were actually a great investment. It's tough to think of collecting sneakers these days as being a good investment. It's just so difficult to get your hands on the cool shoes, and if you don't get them right away, they hit the resale market, and then you're not investing in anything. You're just spending a whole lot of money on a shoe that just came out. But these were bought at a very different time, which it's crazy. It was only five years ago purple outsoles with the speckles on here. The midsoles are green. Lining is green. What a great looking shoe. Check out this amazing detail in here. Actually tucked away underneath the tongue is a little Velcro hide-a pouch. So you can hide your stash in there. Nice little detail by Todd Bratrude. Beautiful shoes right there. We've had a lot of rumors about Nike releasing a low top pair of these. Pictures have surfaced on the internet. Some customs have been done as well. They would definitely be highly anticipated and sneakerheads would jump all over them. There was actually a really cool pair of Air Max 1 skunk customs that Dank Customs did a few years back. They were auctioned off on eBay and I bet they went for about two grand. I can't stop picking up this shoe and showing it off to you the details are just incredible anyway happy 420 it's been a pleasure breaking out these two pairs of skunk dunk high premium sbs